Mutual Ministry Review is a program that the diocese encourages parishes to undertake from time to time. And what it does, it brings in a consultant that meets with the vestry and the clergy, and they talk about all the programs that are going on in the church. You know, what's working, what's not working, what needs to be dropped, what needs to be added. And it helps the leadership of the parish to take a good, hard look at the church and see what's healthy and maybe what needs to be worked on, what's not so healthy. Well, it sounds like in Mark's Gospel, they sure could have used a mutual ministry review because they had some bad things going on. Here you got two yahoos, James and John. They're getting Jesus off to the side wanting those best seats, best seats in the house. You know, can we be there? And Jesus has to deal with that. And then the other ten find out, and they're all upset. So here we go. It reminds me of a time that we had a mutual ministry review here. And the consultant said, always remember, arise. We said, arise? Arise. Active regression in service of the ego. It happens in groups. And it's not just in churches that arise. happens. I imagine if you become a volunteer <coughs> firefighter, you'll find a rise in those meetings, or a member of a police department, or in a business, or in a women's group, like garden club. God forbid it wouldn't be in the garden club, would it? Would it be here at St. Mary? You know? Well, it's right here in the Gospel. These two guys, James and John, are in service to their ego. Now that dynamic gets set up by not having needs met when I'm younger, uh, insecurities, things like that, and I try to work that out in this new group. And it creates situations like that. And it's identified by I want or we want. It's a very different orientation from the one that Jesus talks about. So these two guys come to Jesus and He says first to them, well, what do you want me to do for you? He's not opposed to helping them out. Well, we want the best seats in the house, one on the left, one on the right. And He doesn't just say, no, you can't do that. That's not been appointed yet. He says first, can you drink the cup I drink? can share the baptism I have. Now what he's talking about there is can you walk the way I'm about to walk? That's my destiny. That's my cup. Can you be baptized with my baptism? My commitment to that cup. Not waver. Not turn away from it. Can you stand in the face of the possible fury that that cup can bring and not lose faith? And of course, these two guys are still enthralled with their ego and they say, oh yeah, we're able. And Jesus says, then you will drink the cup. Then you will share the baptism. But those two seats you want, not mine to give, sorry. And then he goes one step further. He introduces a huge paradigm shift. Turns the world up on its head. He says, look, if you want to be great, be a servant. If you want to be the best, be the best servant you can be. It moves from, I want, we want, to how can I serve you? How can we make a difference in the world? Now, you know, preachers are really good about doing this abstract preaching stuff. Oh, doesn't that sound great? What would that look like if we are a community that instead of saying, we want, says, how may we be of service? What would that look like? <coughs> you notice anything different in here today? 
See that? It's a quilt. It's a quilt from Rwanda, Africa. From Tumahumarize. You remember them? A few years ago, we learned of their need through Elaine, Mark Hanshay's sister, and how they were looking to turn this community around after the horrors of genocide in Rwanda. How can these women be empowered to be an economic force for themselves? They thought, we can do it through sewing. What do you need to sew? <laughs> sewing machines. And they just didn't have the money for that. How may we be of service to you? Can we get a few sewing machines for you? And we did. They remembered that. And they said, here, we want the Church of St. Mary the Virgin to have this. We want it, don't we? No, that's not our character here. What we're doing, we're offering this quilt as a part of our auction dinner. Because most of the funds we raise in our auction dinner makes this possible. Makes this happen. Not just a quilt, but a whole community of women in Rwanda who are now empowered economically to make their own decisions. To realize who they are and who they want to be. That's empowerment. That's this gospel at work. Arise. Sounds majestic. Active regression in service of the ego. And if we had been in service of the ego, this never would have happened. Never would have happened. But thank God that it has. So whatever group you find yourself in here at St. Mary's, if you are a volunteer firefighter in your business, in a women's group or a men's group, keep in mind, arise. And perhaps the best question to ask in the context of that group as an individual and as a group isn't so much, what do I want? What do we want? But how can I serve? How can we serve?